Well, a blessed good morning to all of you under the sound of my voice. Welcome to Moments of Inspiration with your friend, Minister Rick, coming here from Hatcher Bay Lutheran in the Bahamas. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for waking us up again today. Thank you for all the blessings you provide every day. Lord, we need you today more than we needed you yesterday. Lord, we pray for those that are sick, sad, suffering today. We pray for those that have lost loved ones today. Comfort them today, Lord, like only you can. Bless your word today. Bless your people today. Bless our country today. Keep us all safe. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. This morning I want to talk about um, respect for authority. But you know, before I go, I it's, it's, it's a sad occasion for me because I lost a good cousin of mine last night to, to COVID-19. Um, Police Sergeant Warren Wood from Hatchet Bay. And um, Warren's mommy Sherry and his wife and his brother and sisters, um, uncles and aunts, you know, it's sad. It's very sad. Warren was a good person, a good brother, a good human being, a police officer who did his job with diligence, um, a good Hatchet Bay man, a good Bahamian, worked around the islands, Andres, Exuma, Nassau. And unfortunately, you know, he succumbed. He checked out. And so today, Sherry and his wife and his children and family members, Hatchet Bay, I want to say my deepest condolences to all of us. And may one soul rest in peace and rise in glory. God has promised to comfort us while we mourn. So he will comfort us today. You know, but... As I talk about respect for authority <clears throat> from Romans chapter 13, it says, Everyone must submit to the governing authorities, for all authority comes from God, and those in positions of authority have been placed there by God. Uh oh. So you thought those people who went to government, they just said, any, many, many, mo, and there they were. God put them. Yeah, Romans chapter 13. Those in positions of authority have been placed there by God. Yes, you won't. Yes, you don't vote. But God has the final say. So anyone who rebels against authority is rebelling against God. Rebelling against what God has instituted. So when you rebel against the government, according to Romans chapter 13, verse 2, you're rebelling against what God has instituted and they will be punished. For the authorities do not strike fear in people who are doing right, but in those who are doing wrong. Would you like to live without fear of the authorities? We don't want to live in a place where there's no police, eh? or no government, or no laws. Eh? Then do what is right, and they will honor you. The authorities are God's servants sent for your good. But if you are doing wrong, of course you should be afraid, for they have the power to punish you. They are God's servants sent for the very purpose of punishing those who do what is wrong. So you must submit to them. Doesn't matter how you vote, how you didn't vote, you must submit to the authorities. Not only to avoid punishment, but also to keep a clear conscience. Verse 6 says, pay your taxes too. For these same reasons, for government workers need to be paid. <laughs> they are serving God in what they do. Give to everyone what you owe them. Pay your taxes and government fees to those who collect them and give respect and honor to those who are in authority. You know, sometimes these get confused and because I didn't vote for a person or I don't like a person, we think, well, I die in my party, die in my prime minister, die in my government, that ain't my president. It don't work like that. You are to give reverence and give powers and give honor to the people in authority. Give honor to whom honor is due, and you will fulfill the law of the Lord. Respect those in authority. Sila, think and act on these things.